So pick a lay, any lay, and um, parallel your arms. simple rotation. There's not much of a socket here, and there's an enormous ball here. So as, I'm going to let that one hang for a minute. There's a gliding action. Can you see that from where you are? Now the tibia is in front, now on top, now in the back. So now the front of the talus is exposed, and now the back of the talus is exposed. The back is exposed, now the front's exposed. The front's exposed, and now the back is exposed. And what happens when you look at a skeleton that's pinned together is that it's considered to be a hinge joint, and they hinge it so that it doesn't really change, it doesn't slide, it just, it goes like this, it doesn't, the same way with the elbow, they're not, a hinge joint is an intellectual concept, it's not a physical one, not a body, natural one, a door, it's, it's real, but in the body, thank you, we have this gliding, in order for this glide to happen, these bones need to rotate. If they don't rotate, then you have a hinge. If they rotate, then when there's space in the back, the talus glides back. When there's space in the front, the talus glides forward. So when you look at the joint, it's somewhat like this. So open space front and back. This is fibula talus. There's this action. So when you're going like this, your foot will come back. And then when I say, now the talus is part of my toes. Now the talus is part of my heel. And that's not doing this. That's doing this. This is doing this. <coughs> Just do one leg at first. And then when you go to stand, feel the difference of one side to the other. 